the EA Sports uh, FIFA World Cup simulation, FIFA 23, has simulated that Argentina are celebrating the World Cup a day after the 86th birthday of the Argentinian Pope Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Using FIFA 23 in-depth player ratings, they played out all 64 matches. They have predicted Messi to win Golden Boot and the Golden Ball for being the top goal scorer and the best player respectfully at the tournament. Uh, he played himself into the team of the tournament, joined by Emiliano Martinez, goalkeeper Marcos Acuna. Goal score against Nigeria, Leandro Paredes, and Rodrigo De Paul. The remainder of the spots filled by Marquinhos, Vinicius, and Richarlison. <laughs> Richarlison, what are they on? Veran, and Mbappe, and Jao Cancelo. The FIFA simulation has gotten it right every year since the year 10. Messi number 10 uh, completes the, the streak. It will be four consecutive correct predictions for the EA Sports simulation. Because Messiah is born in 1987, which is the year of the rabbit, which is the number four position of the Chinese Zodiac. So EA Sports will get it right for the fourth straight time after the rabbit Lionel Messi, born in year 87, number four order of the Zodiac, gets it correct in the World Cup. Also, 2022, if you haven't seen all of my fire videos from the past four years, if you're new here, 2022 is the year of the Tiger, 1986 is the year of the Tiger, and you have to roll with Tony Tiger! Arr! He died at Tigre, Diego Maradona, right? He did. He did. And Messiah, after four prior World Cups, wins the World Cup in his fifth World Cup. Beyond picking the outright winner, EA Sports offers quite a bit of prophecies that have and have not aged well. It was defined that Basile would play in the final at home, but they got humiliated by Germany. 2014, they said Spain would beat Portugal in a third place playoff. Isco was back to win the Golden Boot in the 2018. EA Sports did predict that Griezmann uh, would also score five goals. He finished four times. Uh, De De Gea was predicted to be the best goalkeeper. Jesus for the best young player. Uh, they don't get everything right. But uh, Argentina, two uh, unbeaten matches behind Italia's record of 37 matches. Uh, more to come. Argentina in Mexico. It's all synced up with uh, 1986 at Mexico. Uh, more to come when we break down the milestone. 37th unbeaten match to tie Italia. After beating Italia in the uh, the finalissima of 2022.